A gorgeous Florida setting on the Gulf of Mexico, Cape Coral is home to everything to do when the sun is shining, plus so many family-friendly activities. You'll have a full itinerary before you know it. Cape Coral is the perfect destination for any outdoor enthusiast. This vibrant waterfront city is home to an enormous variety of family-friendly activities and attractions. Cape Coral boasts 400 miles of canals, boating, fishing, and water sports. That's the most miles of navigable waterways in the entire world. Venice can put that in its pipe and smoke it. Cape Coral is also home to a variety of native Florida wildlife. With so many nature preserves and state parks, here you'll find the largest population of adorable burrowing owls. So, here is the list of the 10 best things to do in Cape Coral, Florida. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Boathouse Tiki Bar and Grill Located at the Cape Coral Yacht Club, the Boathouse is a tiki bar and grill-themed restaurant. Open early in the morning throughout the evening, this fun and festive spot feature a vacation-like setting perfect for seafood, cocktails, and live entertainment on the beach. When arriving by car, guests can park in the lot, while boat arrivals can park in the restaurant's lower-level slips. A large wooden deck wraps around the building and connects to a sandy strip of private waterfront beach. Guests can sit underneath the tiki awning, out under the large umbrellas adorning the patio, or on beach chairs looking out at the water. Number 2. Wicked Dolphin Rum Distillery The Wicked Dolphin Rum Distillery is a well-known distillery in the region. A favorite spot for rum enthusiasts and tourists, the Wicked Dolphin Rum Distillery offers a diverse and engaging tour of its facilities. Visitors are able to participate in guided tours through the site's distillery plant, where a rum expert provides information on the ingredients, sourcing, cooking, fermentation, and distilling process, all of which take place on site. The group then transitions into the barrel room where visitors witness the unique process that provides the rum with its distinct taste and color. Tours are available on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Number 3. Four Mile Cove Ecological Preserve Head to Four Mile Cove Ecological Preserve and enjoy the boardwalk that winds its way through the marshy jungle and straight to the waterfront. There are kayak rentals if you want to float around a bit, or you can take in some history at the Iwo Jima Monument. You'll find a real sense of the Floridian landscape, back before the jungle was paved to make way for high-rise hotels and endless condominiums. You may even spot some dolphins if you're lucky. Just be sure to bring the bug repellent. Number 4. Rotary Park Environmental Center one of the best things to do in Cape Coral is to unplug and explore nature. At the Rotary Park Environmental Center, Cape Coral and the Department of Environmental Protection have created a reserve that preserves beautiful marshlands and wetlands. Over 97 acres large, walk down the rugged trails and even a boardwalk at Glover Bight. As you wander through the mangrove wetlands and shallow flats, you'll see wading birds, snakes, and gopher tortoises. Climb up to one of two observation towers to get a bird's eye view. At low tide, you can see the broader area, full of oyster bars and shallow flats. Walk quietly for your best chance to see wildlife. Because it can get humid in the summer, wear bug spray to protect against mosquitoes. Number 5. Serenia Vista Park. It's not just birds that migrate during winter. Manatees also head to the warm waters of Florida and are frequently seen in the canals of Cape Coral. One of the easiest places to see these majestic mammals in the wild is at Serenia Vista Park. An eight-acre environmental park, Serenia Vista is surrounded by water. Perfect for spotting all sorts of wildlife, there is a paved walking trail through the park, 
as well as a designated manatee viewing area. Although you can pay for a boat trip around the park, manatees tend to live in shallow waters so you can easily spot them from the shore, free of charge. Number 6. Southwest Florida Military Museum and Library The Southwest Florida Military Museum and Library began with help from the Invest in America's Veterans Foundation and now has a new home as of five years ago, in a 34,000-square-foot facility. It's the largest military museum in Southwest Florida and features artifacts, books, and papers on all American wars, conflicts, and important events. The family-friendly museum includes 60 fully-dressed mannequins, a theater, and various display stations. You'll find the majority of the artifacts and information stem from World War II, but there are many other time periods celebrated as well. Number 7. Cape Coral Farmers Market The Cape Coral Farmers Market is a popular destination for locals and visitors alike. The market, which holds a seasonal schedule and occasionally closes for off times, is host to a variety of shopping opportunities. Visitors to the market are able to peruse stalls of locally grown produce, meats and cheeses, baked goods, canned goods, cut flowers, and more. Additionally, handcrafted goods are also available for sale. The market offerings also include a variety of food truck vendors, who sell unique street food from their location, parked just outside of the market grounds. Number 8. Tom Allen Memorial Butterfly Garden The Tom Allen Memorial Butterfly Garden provides the native butterflies with a spot to live in relative peace and harmony, away from their natural predators. Butterflies in this garden often start out as babies and are allowed to grow to maturity before they're released into the wild. This stop is a great educational opportunity, as it allows visitors to see the entire life cycle of the insect, as well as learn about various different butterfly species. Better yet, tours are free for the entire family, so long as you visit on a Monday, Friday, or Saturday morning. Number 9. Sun Splash Family Water Park The water park is closed for the season and will reopen in 2016. Sun Splash Family Water Park is a 14-acre compound of water entertainment and activities that features a variety of slides, including a 30-foot drop called Cape Fear, a wild enclosed ride called Funnel Tunnel, and a free-falling experience called the Drop Slide, among several others. The water park also has a lazy river for tubing, an ecological boardwalk for viewing nearby Lake Kennedy, a family pool, racing slides, splash pads, an area for toddlers, volleyball courts, and more. The most extreme attraction is known as the Cellerator, a 48-inch tall drop, where guests speed along at 30 miles per hour, nearly 40 feet per second. Number 10. Yacht Club Community Park The Cape Coral Yacht Club is a public community center situated on the shores of the Caloosahatchee River. Built in the 1950s, the Yacht Club is one of the city's original landmarks and one of the top Cape Coral attractions. The Yacht Club is home to Cape Coral's most popular beach zone, a wide stretch of white sand lines the beach area where families are able to set up chairs and umbrellas. The Yacht Club also offers a long fishing dock and a community swimming pool. An on-site playground is also available, along with a pavilion, snack center, and facilities. Throughout the year, the Yacht Club is also host to a variety of events and festivals, all listed on their online calendar of events. The Last Word So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Cape Coral. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. Renowned Gulf Beaches, verdant golf courses, and popular family attractions all make Cape Coral an appealing destination for visitors. With so many activities on the shoreline and waterways, many anglers and boaters have chosen to make this paradise their home. So, 
If you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripoyer is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the USA. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icons for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you.